name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. not fair. You shouldn't be out there anyway. Pay out the back. You're bothering the customers. It's not safe for Zyra Knights out there. You know that. This isn't a life for them. It's a prison. Don't be so hard on them, Tropek. They're only children. And this is a business. I know, but it's hard for them to be stuck back there with nothing to do. Schrettig, Forum, Luba. Ah, yeah. Oh, uh, if there's anything you need, sir, please... Feel free to ask. The uh, Archans are especially good today, sir. I'm looking for something fresh. Oh, they're all as fresh as the green snow, sir. These look diseased. Oh, no, sir. No. These are the best in Canada City. These look diseased to you. Hey, I wouldn't let a lizard eat garbage like that. And they smell just like a filthy, stinking z -rite. I'm a Zyronite, sir, and I don't appreciate that word here or any place else. Hey, the little disease carrying Z right doesn't like the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. Aya, go call the police. You know what I think about Z rights hey, trying no, to infect the whole of Alcor by peddling rotten fruit? There. No. I just saved a dozen lives. And I just saved some more. <laughs> And I said, no, no, people are good. They wouldn't do anything. <laughs> now he's gone. The children are gone. They're all gone. Yes, ma'am, we know. 
We're sorry. Mrs. Tropak, can you give us a description of any of the attackers? God. Oh, God. Come on, one drink won't hurt, will it? I gotta get home. What's the hurry? Doesn't your husband ever get home late? <laughs> in the first place, Dr. Eastman, my children won't be home late. And in the second place, you're a worm. Yeah, but a really nice worm. Come on, just one drink. <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, nah. Mrs. Tropek. <laughs> Mrs. Tropek, please, we need your help. We need to catch these people. What time is it? Uh, no, no, it's, it's all right, Mrs. Tropek. It's okay. It's okay. No, you don't. Calm down. It's all right. It's all right. You don't Calm down. Calm down. Everything, everything, everything will be fine. Please, Come down. Oh. Can I get a doctor here? Look, is there any chance of getting any attention? Is anybody at home? After all these years, you still smell like gardenias. What are you doing, Erica? Why, Patrick Rogan! You old honey bunch, you. Come on, the drinks are on me. We gotta catch up on the last 20 years. Uh, hey, hey, nurse, nurse, what's the chance of getting my clothes back? I gotta get out of here. The doctor thinks you should remain here for observation, ma'am. You've had a minor concussion. Well, give me two aspirin and hand on heaven. You know, I'm as good as new. Do I look sick to you, doll? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not the unidentified woman with mild concussion they brought in with Mrs. Tropek. What the hell are you doing at a race right? You're not some mindless bigot. I was shopping. Coincidence. Exactly. Just my luck. Right. You're trying to tell me a woman in your profession. I've heard about that. Uh huh. Yeah. Just happens to be on Alto and just happens to be at the location of a major incident. Erica, you better come clean with me. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Remember my big cloth with bathtub. I'm not playing games here, Erica. Talk to me. Why? What are you gonna do? Take me down the station house and beat it out of me? Whatever it takes. Any for your thoughts? Alto to Jack. Do you know who that is in there with Brogan and Podley? Mother Abbess of Demeter Convent? Close. It's Erica Brandt, famous bounty hunter. Oh, that would have been my second guess. Do you know that Brogan knew her back at NYPD and never told me? I know all about her. Read about her in Guns and Lasers. This woman is amazing. What was she, Mercenary of the Month? You know, you just don't appreciate fine literature. Name's Burl Flack. He's wanted on planet Day Night for a series of hate crimes, including murder. He jumped bail. So if you can find him and return him before his bail is forfeit, you collect 10%. 20. Hey! It's the free enterprise system, ain't it just great? So, um, you think Flack was involved in the attack on the Zionite store? Oh, well, I don't know for sure, Brogan. I mean, the truth is, I'm not even sure that Flack's really on Altor. I'm just following up a tip from an informant. So if you'll excuse me, boys, I have work to do. Miss Brandt, you may earn more than the police, but you are subject to the laws of Altor. If Flack has committed a crime here in Demeter City, he belongs to us first. Why, of course he does, Captain, if you can catch him first. Now, you listen to me. If you so much as litter or spit on the light wall. No need to worry, Cap. Pure as the driven sludge, that's me. You just asked my old friend Patrick Brogan. Well, it's been just this side of paradise. Now, listen, Brogan. The last thing we need in Demeter City right now is a racist like Flack. If he's on the planet, I want him. Just you make sure you get to him before she does, huh? Miss Brandt. Well, hello, handsome. I was wondering, since you're new in town, maybe sometime you'd like to get a bite to eat or something. You know, I'd love to hear all about your old experiences. I think you'd be more interested in new experiences. Maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Hell of a woman. I believe on your scale, she would rate at least a nine, Officer Haldane. Wrong, slow-mo. That's an 11. Ah, uh, we spent all day on the planet. 
four hours of trudging through green sludge. Then we got called out of the fire bombing. Family of Zyronites was yeah, really I saw awful. that on the news. Yeah. Tough day, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So, anything else happen? No, not that I can think of. So that wasn't you I saw kissing Erica Brandt in the hospital? I just ran into her. I saw. You just ran into her right on the lips. <laughs> Honey, she surprised me. Oh, come on, you don't really think... What, just because you used to lust after that Honey, man Honey, I went eater. out with her a few the times. It's an ancient I history. Had. Honey, I hardly knew you Why did. should I care? I don't care. Good. <sighs> Dr. Chan, just answer the questions. Dr. Chan... Five years ago, the health department revoked your license to practice medicine. How do you earn a living now? I retain some savings from better years. And you never practice medicine? Certainly not. That would be illegal. But you practice your uh, political interests. What are you implying? Ah, get off it, Doc. We read your files right here. You know what it says? Dr. Tycho Chan, rabbit anti zyronite <clears throat> Well? Those parasites brought Zyron fever onto this planet. Once upon a time, I had two dear, lovely children. Until the Zyronites came. We know about your children. We understand your grief. You could not begin to understand my grief. <laughs> my whole life has fallen apart. My home, my practice. The Zyronites destroyed it all. So I made you a drunk, too? Doc, uh, yesterday, by any chance, did you treat anybody for blunt object injuries? As you pointed out, uh, I have lost my license. Answer the question. I told you before, I know nothing about such matters. What about the location of Burl Flack? What do you know about that? Uh, Lieutenant, I got an urgent message for Dr. Chan. Your wife's called five times. She's oh, yeah. starting to get frantic. Oh, um, How does she know you were here? Oh, uh, occasionally I uh, lose my bearings. She has seen fit to... Uh, Furnish me with uh, uh, a locator. I'm uh, embarrassed to admit it has uh, proven my savior on uh, several occasions. <clears throat> now, uh, either arrest me or uh, set me free. Either way, I demand to. You're free to go. Oh. Your rights go home. Yeah, that's right. I recognize you. So he came to you. Hey, hey. Uh, check this out, huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Zerite scum! We got as much right to be here as you first day! You okay? Yeah, come on, let's get it. Hey, come back here, you! Ah! Ah! There he is! All right, come on. me, stinking Zerite! Right. Ah! About three minutes, there's going to be two less stinking disease carrying vermin to worry about. Go get them. Let's get them! <laughs> hey, you scum! Credits. You said 800. A supply and demand. <laughs> this may not be the only cryo gun on the planet, but I doubt if you'll find another. Uh, <laughs> cops are not too crazy about these things. Uh, of course, we might work out a payment in kind. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't take this personally, but I'd rather freeze my eyeballs. Now listen, doll. I may only get one chance with this thing. So how do I know if it's even gonna work? Why don't we... try it out? Well, I'd say that that had put our little agreement on ice, wouldn't you? First, you stun your target. <laughs> Sorry, Coney. Then, you freeze it. <laughs> Tony, why, you're just an old softie, aren't you? <laughs> Five cyanide deaths in two days? The whole damn city is ready to explode! I won't stand for it! Captain, we know that Flack was involved with the killings. Uh, he's down there someplace, we just can't locate him. So what are you doing here? Waiting for him to turn himself in? No, sir. Well, find him, damn it! Before he kills again! Yes, sir. Yes. Hey, we just got the file on Flack from Dane IPD. Did you say Erica Brunt will get 20% of the bail if she finds him? Yeah, that's right. Well, the bail is three million credits. So she walks away with 600 grand. I guess you'll have to stop calling her a cheap tram. <laughs> Envy's such an ugly emotion. There's something else you should know about Flack. The bail forfeits in 12 days. So? So the jump to Dane I takes two full weeks. But that doesn't make sense. How's she gonna get him back in time to collect her money? Brogan, call for you on Com 6 of Mrs. Chan. Brogan. Lieutenant, you don't know me, but you spoke with my husband yesterday, Dr. Tycho Chan. Uh, that's right. Uh, how can I help? I'm worried about my husband. The thing is, I saw that Zyronite woman on TV. She lost her children, too. You think your husband was involved in that attack, Mrs. Chan? No. But the people he's involved with, they're the killers. You have to stop them, Mr. Brogan. You have to stop Burl Flack. Hi, fella. Go on in, Flack. Hey, you're going to have some tea rides tonight. Where is everybody? They'll be here, Flag. Who's she? No idea, but if she knows the location, she must be all right. Oh, she's more than all right. I don't believe we've met. I'm Burl Flag. Oh, I know. You are a very attractive woman. Veronica Wilson. Veronica? You're interested in our cause? Well, I was a landscape architect, and a good one, too, before the damn Zyronites came and stole my job. A normal person can't live on the wages those animals will take. That's why we have to exterminate them like the vermin that they are. Oh, it's so good to find some kindred spirits. Black. Uh... You're right there. Excuse me. Perhaps we might discuss this in more depth after the meeting. Oh, I'd like that in more depth. Lieutenant, we're in position. We have the back covered. It's as quiet as a grave back here. You sure Mrs. Chan H is trying to set us up? No, nah, I don't think so. Looks pretty real out here. They got a lookout. What's the plan? Leave it to Haldane. Yeah, we've heard that one before. <laughs> right. Excuse me, buddy. Could you spare a couple of credits for some coffee? No. Hey, get away from me, man. Get off me, firm ahead. Look, I told you, leave it. Serves you right. <laughs> Brogan, hurry up. Bring my boots. My feet are freezing. Oh, they say they've got Zyron fever under control. That the new quarantine screening process has eliminated the danger. What I have here in my hand 
positive proof that over 500 Altorians have died of Xyron fever in the past year. And your government is covering up the fact. Great speaker. Huh? It's all a conspiracy to force this low-paid, Submatter subspecies into the workforce to drive down honest wages. Yeah. Just That's like it was on planet Dana. Yes. You know, I heard a familiar and heartbreaking story just before we started this meeting of a woman thrown out of work driven to the point of desperation by this scourge. I'd like her to come up here and share it with you. Veronica? Come on, Veronica. Come on. No, really, I, no, I couldn't do this. No. Come on, everybody. Let's get her up here. Well, I... Please! Everybody, stay where you are. Put your hands where I can see them. Stop right there. Move any closer and I kill her. Now put your weapons down. No. Do it! Here, move. Sand off, Marco, let's go. Snow, I told you we should have left your mother's earlier, George. <laughs> You're going to need a doctor. You don't get a move on. We're going to need an undertaker. <laughs> Who was that? Nothing. He should be right on him. Yeah, there he is. Black, reduce your speed and descend to ground level. <laughs> Force. Lock and load the cannons. You got them. Come on. What do we do? Keep going. Damn snow blades don't work. Should have installed blowers years ago. Mm. <laughs> This is our chance! Go! 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 Damn, he's getting away. Now forget it. We got another problem over here. Uh, hang on, George! George, are you all right? We've got an emergency situation. Zone 10, South Kersuki Boulevard. We're gonna need paramedics. What about Flack? 
I'll get him the next time. That's right. Okay, let's go. Come on, we're gonna be late. Erica? May I come in? Um, <laughs> yeah. Hello, Patrick. I'm sorry that Flack got away last night. Oh, uh, no, it's OK. Um, can I get you something to drink? I was just having a glass of milk. Milk? <laughs> well, Pat, it has been a long time. Eric, I got a lot of work to do. So if you just OK, hear... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just came to ask you something. Something serious. That kiss in the hospital, <sighs> did it bring back any memories? We had a great time together. But that was 20 years ago. So your marriage is? Is the luckiest thing that ever happened to me. Now, let me ask you a question. Flax bail forfeits in 11 days. It takes two full weeks to get back to Danai. You're too late to collect the bounty. That's my worry. And, and that's the real reason that I'm here. I need your help, Pat. And maybe I could help you, too for uh, old time's sake. I'm listening. Suppose I could still collect it. How would you like half? What are you talking about? Team up with me. Help me find Flack. With your contacts and my contacts. I mean, what difference does it make if Flack gets punished on day night or on outdoor? What are you doing? Inviting you out of my house. Oh, for once in your life, Brogan, will you do something smart? Either you leave or I have you arrested for attempted bribery of a police officer. You never change, do you, Brogan? You always were a Boy Scout, honest and stupid. You know that's the real reason we broke up, because I was too smart for you. You felt threatened. No, Erica. The reason we broke up is because I knew I could never make a life with somebody whose value system was as screwed up as yours. Goodbye. Enjoy your milk. What's he doing here? I told you, my arm's fine. It is not fine. Take a look, Doc. When did this happen? Last night. You should have called. Couldn't take any chances, Doc, when someone's been yapping to the cops. I told them nothing, sir. Whatever you say. Do your stuff. Do you have pain? It hurts like hell. Oh, it's become infected. Hold still, sir. Damn, Sam. Your hand's shaking like a frightened sea right. I, uh, I need a drink. Just one. Please. Go get it for him. No, uh, let me go. You help Mr. Flack onto the bed. Hmm? Okay. Bright, fast. Do they used to make those things with less violence? Oh, Dad, you should have seen it. This guy's head comes right off. It was awesome. Gruesome. Matt, isn't it time for Cyber Cowboys? It is. What are we waiting for?
Something wrong? I smell perfume. Gardenias. <laughs> I was gonna tell you. She was here in my house. She just showed up. She wanted. She wanted me to work with. Her. <laughs> I just bet she did. So when were you gonna tell me about this? <laughs> oh, Sal, but you just walked in the door. Honey, it's not as if anything happened. Oh, so if something had happened, you would have told me, but since nothing happened, you didn't want to tell me? Right. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah? Well, what do you mean? What I meant was, since there was nothing to tell you, as soon as the kids were in bed, I would have gotten around to telling you that there was nothing. This is stupid. I don't even know what we're arguing about. Oh, and by the way, some doctor named Eastman called you while you were gone. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So who is he? Said he'd heard all about me. I work with him at the hospital. He's, he's new. He's a really nice guy. I think I promised to go out for a drink with him one night. I think that's probably why he called. So, Erica Brand. She's a gorgeous woman as far as older women go. So? You dated her before you met Sally, right? No, I quit dating her when I met Sally. Well, don't get me wrong, I really like Sally. So do I. Yeah, she's great, but Erica. You got a question? Let's hear it. Okay, uh, why? Why Sally over Erica? Because you don't marry the person you want to live with. You marry the person you can't live without. Hey, Captain says drop whatever you're doing and report to his office immediately. Yes, sir. With or without, you gotta decide. Captain, you want? You know Mrs. Chan? Mrs. Chan? What's wrong? Somebody showed up at the Chan house last night. Took the doctor away. He hasn't come back. I sewed these buttons. They're locators. Yes, uh, ma'am, we know about the locators. Uh, I found him. She found him? She traced the coordinates. Found him here. Right in the middle of Demeter Bay. <laughs> Stunned. You smell anything? Ah, oh, damn it! Gardenias! I can't believe she beat us to him. What the hell is this? Bring that thing. Where are we going? Cargo bay. Oh, of course, I knew that. How do you find a needle in a haystack? Storage facilities for incoming earth type L vehicles will be transferred to loading dock C due to construction. See? I told you. Nothing going to Day Night for 36 hours. Yeah, well, I don't care. She's here. I know she is. Why don't you try down there? For me? Where's Flack? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I just came here to pick up some clothes. I had them shipped from Earth. I like it here so much on Altor, I've decided to extend my stay. It's not gonna fly. We got the cryo gun. We got Flack's bodyguards. But you don't have Flack, do you? He just keeps on slipping through your fingers. Look, lady, I know that you've got Flack. And frankly, I don't care if he's punished here or on Danai. Actually, Danai is better. Well, you're a lot smarter than your partner. Well, why don't you make me the same offer that you made him then? Oh, he told you about that, huh? Like you said, we're partners. Have to admit, though, you're much better looking. So, are you saying that you'd be interested in forming a new partnership? Maybe. Not just on flack, on everything. You think you can keep up with me? You want references? No. Just a blood test. Come here. Nice try. But you really should be listening to what I'm saying. You're much better off if you take my deal. If I take you in, we're gonna ground and search every freighter in this terminal till we find Flack. Now, where does that leave you? Okay, doll. You got a deal. 50-50, starting with Flack. Do we shake? Or kiss, partner? <laughs> Not so fast. First, you show me Flack. I'm not throwing away my career until I know that you got him in the bag. Now we're even. You feel better? Can we get out of here before Brogan finds us? In here. This freighter isn't going to Danai. No, but for the right sum of money, Exona was willing to program a short uh, detour. Here he is. It's cute. But how do I know he's in there? Open it, and then you'll see. Very cool, Erica. So handsome. We have a deal? No. We have a problem. You see, I don't care if Flack gets nailed on Altor or not, but, well, Captain Podley, he was pretty insistent. Forget it. You don't have a weapon, remember? Neither do you. <laughs> Wrong. First rule of bounty hunting, be prepared. Oh, it's too bad. Because I was looking forward to exploring a, a pretty torrid partnership with you. That's okay, Erica. You still can. After we turn over Flack. Brogan! What the? How? Locator. Got the idea off a dead man. Two Boy Scouts. So how's a girl like me supposed to make a living? Possession of an illegal weapon, use of an illegal weapon, causing endangerment of life, attempted bribery, resisting arrest. Oh, oh. Miss Brandt, I suspect you could grow old and gray on the rock. Listen, Captain, we're on the same side here. I was just trying ah, to make... Quiet. I know what you were just. However, in light of the fact that Flack is all right and he and his friends are fit to stand trial, I am in... Oh, Cap, you're an absolute sweetie. I told you to be quiet. I am inclined to let you go. Provided that you promise never to come back to Altor ever again. I never liked it here anyway. It's too dry. Bad for my complexion. Word of honor, I'll be gone tonight. Cross my heart. So long. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
new issue of Guns and Lasers? Actually, no. Even better. It stands for Widows Against Racism. When the authorities on Dane I heard that we captured Flack, they decided to donate half of his bail to Mayotropic. The Zionite lady who lost her family. Yeah, right. And now she and Dr. Chan's widow, they're gonna use the money and start an anti-racism foundation. Maybe there's hope for the galaxy yet. Officer Castle would be an 11. Am I right, Officer Haldane? No. Wrong again, Slomo. She's a 20. Uh-oh. I'll get it. Erica, what are you doing here? You didn't think I'd leave Alto without saying goodbye, did you? Hi! You must be Pat's wife. I'm Erica Brandt. Yes. Never thought you'd go for the high strung type, Brogan. Erica. No, really, really, I'd love to stay, but I can't. Really. I'm on the line at the Simter in an hour. I got this currency smuggler, and if I can grab him, I can make a quick 80 grand. So, I guess this is it. Last call. No. Mm. Mm. Hi, brother. My loss. You got a hot one here, lady. Take good care of him. Sally, that wasn't my fault. I know. Can we just stop this? She's gone forever. You never have to see her or hear about her again. Do you remember that Dr. Eastman I told you about? Well, I just called him and I agreed to meet him for that drink. I mean, it's long past due. May as well get the darn thing over with. So, maybe late. Don't wait up. Sally, don't do this. Dad! Got you, didn't I? Come here. <laughs> <laughs>